What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. We're out here at M Wave 2022, and we have all the industry leading manufacturers yeah. in projection. Tell us what they're about to see. So, we've got a whole host of awesome projectors. We've got the brand new laser projectors from JVC, NZ7, NZ8, NZ9. We've got the brand new laser projectors from Sony, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, and we have an Epson LS12000, which I know you guys are big fans of as yep. well. So we're going to put those head to head. That's all we have? Well, we do have... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm we, just kidding. Technically, we do we have... We got one. them all. Technically, we do have one more. We, we got a JVC NX5. That's old school. Th yep. But we're going to see how does that old format compare with these new lasers. And so it's going to be awesome. You're certainly going to enjoy this video. This is going to be epic. Let's get into it, guys. Green Media is here. Zach just flew in. One on the right. I wanted to see what the differences were in the different brands and the different things and all the shootouts that they had. I wanted to come in and like, and like I said, kind of see the comparisons and, and maybe be surprised by what I like more. With this face-off, we have 150-inch screens. Why does that make a difference? That would be 150-inch screens to compare projectors. Well, it's all about the brightness, and that's why one of the reasons we're not bright is actually on here is because some of these projectors will light them up really well, and others you might think they struggle. And one comment is we're doing all HDR clips, so no SDR, it's all HDR. So we're going to see all the HDR coming out What are they looking at or looking for when you're, when you're evaluating a projector? The things to look for here is the detail in the hair, the face, the shirt as well. Uh, <coughs> And uh, also look for interesting con intra scene contrast between the dark areas and the white areas. This is a great tone back on the left. Between the two characters, HDR tone mapping. And this is what we call tone mapping, right? So obviously the projector on the left is tone mapping more detail. Is that how you describe it? Yeah, more, more highlight detail. Right. On the left, it looks like for YouTube, you might be overexposed, overexposed and that's part from the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, but black levels difference are, are, are reflected here. And that, that's not calibration. We can't change blacks. Black is black. So that's what we're looking at. We're talking about motion. So what did you see on that motion? Let me change this. Awesome. Pretty hard for me to tell from back here. I like it. The one on the right might be slightly better. So here, would you say it's a tie on the Spider-Verse comparison? Or would you give one a slight edge? And which one is that? Maybe the one on the right, even. The one on the right? So this is a small win for the one on the right. Up to this point, the one on the right has been getting killed on the tone mapping and the uh, black levels, but as you can see, in scenes where black levels are not important and tone mapping is a big deal, SDR <laughs> most likely, right, the colors are rich and vibrant. Yeah, I would say that was a little bit brighter, a little bit more punchy on the right. Okay. And, and I would agree. We wanted to throw some video content in that's not necessarily your, your reference for seeing video. So we've got a couple of clips that are uh, that are from older, you know, we, we talk about all the time, you have the newest action movie, hey, it's no citizen Kane. Is this SDR and? Uh, this is 4K HDR, okay. this is the, uh, the 4K Blu-ray by Arrow, uh, which does an amazing job of, of remastering uh, a lot of these great 4K movies. And again, this one is no citizen Kane, but uh, it's, it's a great movie from our childhood that, you know, the, the soundtrack from Queen, the, the costumes, the colors, the, the the dynamics of this really can, uh, you know, be a challenge for, for a lot of modern video displays. It's 
really in unique to, to to be able to see this older content that has has such a an emo we have such an emotional attachment to, and to see it in a whole new light with these type of video displays. This was the NX5 on the left, and the Epson LS12000 on the right. All right, guys, that is a wrap on the NX5, which you guys know the NX5 versus the new Epson LS12000. You guys know the NX5 was one of our best-selling JVC projectors for years, and now we have the new generation. So I hope that you were able to find a little insight into how an older generation JVC, which still has inky, inky black levels Absolutely. and a little bit lower lumen output than that Epson, uh, hopefully that gives you some insight into kind of the differences between native 4K and 4K E-Shift and different lumen outputs. Absolutely. What'd you think? Absolutely. So Honestly, I really, really love those black levels. That's the easiest thing to see when we put two comparisons side by side, you're gonna notice those blacks. But man, just overall, both of them, the great thing, I had a gentleman run up to me, sit on the floor, he said, this is exactly what I came for. I'm buying that Epson. He loved it, it looked beautiful, it's a great image, and it fit his budget. It's bang for your buck. Yeah. I mean, that's why we love it. It's gorgeous. And we had it on a 150 inch screen. Which typically people aren't going to go that big. No. So. so if it's going to work on that, it's going to work on a smaller screen even better. It's awesome. E-Shift 4K, guys. If you don't know what projector is right for you, call and speak with my specialist. We are kids in a candy store <laughs> here, guys. For we sure. will sit there and FaceTime with you, go through your whole room and throw together different options at different price points. And we won't stop until we find the right solution for you to maximize your dollar. So reach out today and speak with my specialist. If you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach and Youth Man. We'll catch you on the next one.